Over the last century, the shape of our society has been fundamentally shaped by advancements in the extraction and utilization of gasoline. Interestingly, a single liter of gasoline is dense enough to contain enough energy necessary to power the average home for six hours. But more commonly, gasoline is used to power the combustion engines that drove the industrial era up to the modern day. Deep within the internal combustion engine, initiating every combustion stage that transforms the stored energy into useful motion is the remarkable spark plug. The first internal combustion engine was developed in 1859 by Belgian engineer Jean Joseph Etienne Lenoir. The first iteration burned a mixture of coal gas and air, and crudely without a compression phase. Lenoir's engine is the first documented use of a spark plug found in an internal combustion engine. The air fuel mixture it aspirated was ignited by a jumping spark ignition system, which he patented in 1860. Lennar's ignition system produced sparks by utilizing high voltage electricity that would jump an air gap. This was first accomplished by sending mechanically generated low voltage pulses through a type of electrical transformer known as a Rumkoff coil, essentially an antiquated form of the modern ignition coil. Subsequently, the voltage would convert the low voltage pulses into lower current high voltage pulses, making it suitable for spark propagation. The fundamentals that Lenore's ignition system operated on are present within the ignition systems found on modern vehicles. By the turn of the century, further refinements to the spark plug design would occur in patents being filed by Nikola Tesla, Frederick Richard Sims, and Robert Bosch. Moreover, their patents were all filed around the same year, but Robert Bosch would become the first company to commercially develop a viable spark plug solution. His design was intended to be paired with a high-voltage magneto-based ignition system. Other significant contributors to the development of spark plug manufacturing came from the Lodge brothers, who founded Lodge Plugs LTD, Kenham Lee Guinness, of the Guinness Brewing family, who developed the KLG brand, and Albert Champion, founder of the Champion Ignition Company. Even to this day, his name remains as both the Champion Spark Plug brand and as the AC and GM's AC Delco products brand. At first glance, spark plugs may appear as simple devices. However, spark plugs need to ignite over 20 million combustion cycles reliably, all while surviving exposure to the intense temperatures and pressures of the ignited fuel. This would prove to be a formidable challenge for manufacturers. All spark plugs are essentially composed of two electrodes separated by an insulator. Each electrode concentrates at a spark gap where spark generation occurs. As the initial current flows from the ignition coil to the spark plug's electrodes, the flow of electricity is initially blocked by the insulating properties of the air fuel mixture within the gap. As the voltage pulse increases, the potential created between the electrodes begin to restructure the gases within the spark gap. As the voltage ramps up further, the insulating limit or the dielectric strength of the spark gap gases begin to break down, consequently causing it to ionize, and because ionized gas is conductive, the current begins to flow between the electrodes, rushing across the spark gap. The sudden rapid surge of electrons flows quickly, which in turn heats the gases within the spark gap to over 50,000 degrees Celsius, thus causing an accelerated expansion of the ionized gas this suddenly growing heat and pressure wave results in the gas around the spark gap to ignite and burn, producing a small fireball known as a kernel. The flame front of the kernel further ignites the remainder of the air fuel mixture in a control pattern, creating more high pressure gases in the process. Since the voltage needed to trigger a spark phase can be as low as 15,000 volts, voltages between 50,000 to 100,000 volts in modern automobiles are commonplace. The advantage of higher voltages allows for more energetic ignition events by creating sparks that are longer, hotter, and longer lasting. The first spark plugs were used in early gasoline engines that had minimal operational requirements that ran at low speeds and compressions. The biggest concern for engineers at the time was the plug's fit and position and ability to maintain an operating temperature range that would allow the plug end to self-clean by burning off deposits. The operating temperature correlates to the actual temperature at the spark plug's end within the running engine. 
This temperature can range anywhere between 500 to 1000 degrees Celsius. This is principally determined by the temperature within the combustion chamber, along with the thermal conductive attributes of the spark plug's design. The thermal attributes of a spark plug are characterized by relative heat range. A hotter plug, for example, is designed to be a more suitable thermal insulator, retaining more heat at the end of the spark plug, while a colder plug conducts more heat away from the end, lowering its operating temperature. It should be noted that a spark plug's heat range has an insignificant effect on the actual combustion chamber temperature within a cylinder. It typically represents how the plug responds thermally to its environment. For example, peak engine torque generates the highest combustion chamber temperatures, while idling the least. With older spark plug designs, a specific heat range had to be determined to match the intended type of driving the engine would experience, with the ideal operating temperature of the plug. Early spark plugs utilized a stack of layers comprised of minerals, such as mica or porcelain, which acted as an insulator. They were compressed and kept in place by a nickel-chromium electrode and housed in a multi-piece assembly. Because reaching operating temperatures that promotes a self-cleaning was the main concern, these plugs performed at very low narrow temperature ranges and degraded quickly due to the limitations of the materials used and the electrode's construction. Moreover, it was common for these early plugs to have the lifespans of just 960 kilometers, or about 600 miles. As engines saw an uptick in their power, the demands on existing spark plugs started to increase. The introduction of leaded gasoline in the 1930s would also cause destructive deposit buildup on the mineral insulator ends. To keep up with this, manufacturing shifted towards a single piece design formed of a ceramic called sintered alumina. Pioneered by Siemens and the Champion Ignition Company in the 1930s, sintered alumina had similar thermal expansion as the metal parts within a spark plug, along with three times the durability and electrical insulating properties when compared to mineral insulators. Additionally, it was a good conductor of heat while simultaneously being able to endure high temperatures. And it was favored because it could be manufactured at low cost and with high mechanical reliability. Centered alumina plugs can also be operated at much higher temperatures, which counteracted the fouling issues caused by leaded fuels through deposit burnoff. Its electrical insulation properties also allotted much higher voltages to be used, enduring up to 60,000 volts. This would be further enhanced by the inclusion of ribs, which expanded the surface area of the insulator offering additional electrical insulation and resistance to dirt and moisture. Modern spark plugs still use sintered alumina and can tolerate voltages well past 100,000 volts. Because of the intrinsic differences in construction, sintered alumina plugs use superior glass and metal powders for sealing in combustion gases. This improved upon the less reliable brazed sealing used on older plugs and made them more tolerant of high cylinder temperature and pressures. Some of these plugs began to incorporate a ceramic series resistor in order to reduce RF noise created by spark generation. The importance of this new feature was further underscored as electronics started to migrate into vehicles.